Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Chabot, and we are starting week three. Um, so as we start this week, um, I don't have any official deadlines on Monday because it is a holiday. Um, and so technically the university is closed. And so for an asynchronous class, I just avoid having deadlines on those days. Um, however, uh, on Mondays, we're generally going to be taking our quizzes. So week three is our first quiz. Um, and then from now on, every other quiz will be on a Monday. Um, and so you're able to take the quiz earlier. So you don't have to wait until the posted day to take the quiz. I always post the quizzes at least five days in advance so that people can make it work with their schedule. Um, You'll see in week three's weekly guide that the quiz is quiz one is on modules one and two. Um, so vectors and 1D motion only. Um, and there is an example of the quiz format. So the quiz format is the one where you're not allowed to get outside help, meaning that you know, you can't work with each other, you can't ask your friend, you can't really, you should not be asking an online tutor or Chegg or ChatGPT even for any of those um, ones. What you um, need to do is you can use any of your resources. You can be using our My Courses Notes. We can be using, you know, any um, resources that you need um, that allow you to answer them individually. Um, so the example of the quiz format will walk you through what that's going to look like um, in kind of the timed environment. For those that have had extended time from the DSO um, and I've received your information, then I have built in the extended time to that quiz. Um, you still have the same end deadline, so you just have to plan accordingly with your time. Um, so. Hopefully, if you have any questions before you take the quiz, let me know. Um, hopefully that you feel okay about that. And then every week we'll have another quiz that covers one or two modules at a time, makes it a more manageable bite-size chunk while you continue to keep up with all the other material. Um, we also are going to have our labs due Wednesday. So you have another lab, lab one, which again, you saw that there's this large chunk of the labs are the individual portion where everybody contributes their data. One thing I do want to say about doing it in groups, the nice thing about that is that you're often measuring similar type things and you are doing the same types of calculations so that you can kind of look at other people's data and calculations and make sure that everybody's on the right track and that things look Correct. So you can kind of check your own work by saying, oh, my number's like a hundred times what they got. One of us probably made a mistake. Let me let me dive deeper. Um, so using um, that as you as you would in a in a regular in-person environment, that feedback can be helpful um, for those group labs. Um, so great job with that. Um, on, on Sunday night, you had your first pivot analyzing motion activity along with your first expert TA for the module problem sets. Hopefully those went well. Um, and again, you have time to reach out with questions before you take the quiz on those modules. Um, we also have a TA, which is very exciting. So Robert um, is uh, going to be a third year physics major at RIT, and um, he is our TA for the summer. And so he is going to be posting Zoom help sessions. Um, he already had one on Saturday, um, and he'll be posting them in the weekly guide. Like the rest of us, his schedule is a little bit unpredictable in the summer, and so it might vary week by week, but each week you'll be able to look and see when those Zoom help Help sessions will be um, and get some, you know, more direct, immediate help on things that you're really struggling with. Um, he does have access to Pivot and can kind of work through some of that with you as well. So welcome, Robert. And we're lucky to have that as a resource for this asynchronous course. Um, okay, everybody is seems to be keeping up nicely. Um, the you know, grade book in my courses is where you see all the grades um, and uh, the pivot grades for the analyzing motion activities. We will import them over to my courses so that my courses will be a fully um, complete um, week by week representation of your current grade in the course. Um, so you're, uh, you know, hopefully um, 
getting used to a little bit of this routine. Um, and if you feel like you're struggling, you need to be reaching out and letting me know and we can try to figure out, um, you know, some, some tweaks to your schedule that might help, uh, help get you back on track. So good job, everybody. Keep it up. Take care.